Happy Monday, friends. Uh, Miss Lara is here with your daily OT tip. Today, I want to talk about... You want to say hi? Yeah. Today, I want to talk about drawing and working on a vertical surface and all of the benefits that that can have. So, um, hi. <laughs> um, so when we allow kids hi. to draw on a vertical surface, we're um, helping them to work on some shoulder stability. Also, we get our wrist in a nice extended position, which helps with um, pencil grasp and grasping the writing utensils. Um, it can work on um, bilateral coordination. So I don't know if you notice over here, Thomas is using his one hand to hold the paper while the other hand is drawing, which can really help. You can also use stencils and having to hold a stencil while you trace it on a vertical surface can be really helpful. Hi, buddy. Um, also, some of our kids might prefer to stand to work um, and draw. So it's a great alternative just to sitting at a desk and a table all the time. Um, hi, buddy. Um, also, it's great for visual motor um, integration. So um, because a vertical surface puts puts the picture and what they're working on more at eye level, it's really good for that eye-hand coordination and also just developing a visual appreciation for how to put together um, shapes and drawings and letters and numbers and all of those kinds of things. So... Um, Hi, buddy. So, um, there's a couple different options for vertical, vertical work. Um, obviously, I don't know if you can see right here, we have an easel. So, um, the one side of our easel has a chalkboard on it. The other side has a whiteboard. Uh-oh, our paper's falling down. Oh, well, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Um, you can see I also put some butcher paper on our wall. You can leave it, Thomas. It's okay. Um, so we can draw on the wall that way. Um, chalkboard paint is a great way to um, make a wall into just a giant chalkboard or get a big chalkboard and put it on the wall. Um, you can also take dry erase markers and write on windows and big mirrors. Um, I know in our old house we used to have a, um, a big big kind of whole wall that was a mirror and we used to draw on that and, um, and kind of work on that as well. So um, lots of different options. Um, explore what you got around the house to just work on a vertical surface older kids um you can you know do worksheets and homework on a you know have have mom or dad put the the paper on the wall and um it might be a great alternative to doing your work oh yeah <laughs> so um okay this video has been a little scattered but anyway so those are my thoughts um any questions leave them in the comments any thoughts um or examples um show me show me what you got show me um your ideas but again vertical surfaces are a great way to work on that shoulder stability wrist extension pencil grasp and just overall coordination and visual motor integration um uh i just lost my train of thought. I was going to say something. Um, but anyway, so good ideas to explore. Think about some options around your house. And, um, oh, I guess what I was going to say was that a lot of our kids, as they get older, if they're having trouble with handwriting or, um, you know, forming letters and just their handwriting is a little sloppy um, or their pencil grasp is a little weak, sometimes um, that goes back to that shoulder stability and the wrist extension. And so um, this is a great way to work on that. So anyway, um, I will check in with you tomorrow. Hope you have a great day. Bye.